Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got these three identical circles with radius one that are tangent to each other. And moreover, they are inside this rectangle A, B, C, D. And now we are going to calculate the area of this rectangle A, B, C, D. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first step. Let's label the points. And here's our new figure with the labeled points. And just keep in your mind that the radius for all these circles is 1. And now let's go ahead and connect points E and H. I'm going to connect E and H. And I'm also going to connect points G and H. And here's our nice looking diagram. And moreover, these angles are right angle, 90 degrees according to tangent to a circle theorem. The angle between a tangent and a radius is always 90 degrees. That means they are perpendicular. So thus we got a square EHGD with a side length one because the radius is one unit and since the square has all equal lengths so that means these all are going to be one unit and now we know that the radius of the circle is one so the diameter is going to be a twice as that one that means it's going to be a two so for this circle the diameter is two for this circle the diameter is 2 as well and this one is diameter is 2 and now in this next step let me go ahead and call this line segment EA I am going to call it X then this line segment AF is going to be X as well according to two tangent theorem and here is our two tangent theorem. If two tangent segments are drawn to a circle from the same external point, then the segments are equal in length. So therefore, this EA and AF are equal in length. And moreover, the length of this line segment GC from here G to this C is 1 plus 2 plus 2 is going to be 5. Then the line segment FC is going to be 5 as well according to the two tangent theorem. That means this F and C, this is also going to be five units as well because that is same in length and here is two tangent theorem once again and we know according to this theorem these GC and FC are equal in length and now we know that this ABCD is a rectangle and here's the definition of rectangle it has four angles each measuring 90 degrees the opposite sides of a rectangle have the same lengths and are parallel so therefore this side AD is going to be equal in length with this side BC and moreover this side AB is going to be equal in length with this side C, D and we know that this length A, D is simply 1 plus X so this is X plus 1 and this side length D, C is simply 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 6 and furthermore this length A, C is going to be simply this X plus 5. So that is going to become X plus 5. So therefore we conclude that AB is 6, 
BC is x plus 1 and AC is x plus 5. And now in this next step, let's focus on this triangle ABC. And we know that this triangle is a right triangle. So therefore, we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's the Pythagorean theorem. A square plus B square equal to C square. So in our triangle ABC, our longest leg is AC. I'm going to call this side C. This side I'm going to call A and this side I'm going to call B. And here's our Pythagorean formula. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. A in our case is 6. So that's going to become 6 square plus B in our case is X plus 1. So this is going to become X plus 1 square equal to C in our case is X plus 5 square. And now let's go ahead and simplify that one. 6 squared is 36 plus we are going to expand these binomials by using this formula a plus b squared which is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So it is going to become x squared plus 2x plus 1 and on the right hand side it's going to become x squared plus 10x plus 25 and now we can see that x square and x square on both sides that cancels out let's combine the like terms so on the left hand side is 2x plus 37 equal to 10x plus 25 so let's move this 2x on the right hand side and 25 on the left hand side so we are going to have 37 minus 25 equal to 10x minus 2x. So we got simply 8x equals to 12. Let's divide both sides by 8 to isolate x. So x turns out to be 3 over 2 when we reduce this fraction. And now we know that our this side BC is X plus 1. So we can calculate the value of BC. We know X, we figured out 3 over 2 plus 1. If we add 1, this 1, so BC turns out to be simply 5 over 2. And here's our final step. So in this rectangle A, B, C, D, our length turns out to be 6 and our width turns out to be 5 over 2. All right. Now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula. Area is always equal to length times width. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So area is going to be length in our case is 6 times the width is 5 over 2. If we simplify that thing, that is going to give us 15. So thus the area of the rectangle ABCD turns out to be 15 square units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.